YouTube, what is going on? It's your guy, Kent Pool Collects, and we are at our little painting table. We got a couple projects that we're working on. Going to be a couple uh, pieces for customs, and as the video goes through, uh, you'll kind of get to see it all coming together. This is going to be our day one, so if you like... Uh, videos about uh, painting and kind of borrowing parts and doing different things this is gonna be that kind of mythic legions video and we're gonna put together a uh, couple new characters by uh, hopefully by the time we finish you know me and customs there's always you know maybe something that will change up and do but for today's work, we're going to take this sword. We're going to do a little bit of black on the handle. We're going to use our red dry brush for the main part of the sword there. I haven't decided. I kind of like, we'll see how the gold works. Maybe we'll have to use some red there. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, that is from our Warlands figure. Picked that up from eBay. A little lot. And then these are chess piece from Wolf King Customs. And our newest wave of figures. Uh, you can actually pull off these little plates and uh, we got a 3D printed replacement, so it'll also be cool to see how uh, those work. But we are going to prime these today. We're just going to use our Chaos Black little primer spray on those two pieces. And uh, we'll bring you back and kind of show you what it looks like. Hopefully you're ready for some customizing, some work around the garage. Kent Pool collects. Here we go. Alright, so we got our sword looking pretty good. Uh, did the black at the top. Got our red in there, still left a little bit of our gold, which uh, I think looks pretty good for our blood armor. We're going to leave that hanging up there. Got my gloves on because we're going to be using the primer. Just make sure when you're using it, uh, the temperature is like not too hot, not too cold. And then I'll actually be outside spraying this. So uh, very well ventilated. Uh, as far as being outside, uh, just make sure that it's not too like windy out and stuff. You want to make sure that it's kind of going on evenly and stuff. And you don't want the paint just kind of spraying all over the place. So I'll be right back and uh, we'll take a look at the results. All right, so there is our primer. Uh, went on just a little thick. I probably could have held it just a little farther back. Maybe uh, switched out gloves. I tried to use like the uh, same glove for each one, but uh, hopefully I didn't pull any of the paint off of there. I think that is gonna be a nice black for our prime for our start and uh stay tuned for more on uh, these chest plates day two sword looking good pretty happy with our results from that paint and check out the uh primer came through real good definitely was <laughs> worried that I went just a little thick on it, but uh, it has dried very well and uh, definitely happy with how that turned out. 
We've also added some new pieces uh, from a hunt, so make sure uh, you're checking out all the different hunt videos. But check out this Havoc staff. This is from a Skeletor, the He-Man uh, 2000. And I think this is going to be a great piece for uh, the custom that we are putting together the chest plates for. Just to show you on our Mythic Legions figure from the newest wave. So you can see there's like a little piece here and you just get under the armor just a little bit and the chest plates will peg out. So you can see that there's an opening in the body, a little peg on the chest armor and they slide right on, right off just to show you the awesome work from Wolf King Customs. So you can see they got the peg and just like that, look at that. That is very, very nice. So we're actually going to remove it because uh, definitely gonna add more paint. I think we're gonna go for a uh, kind of purple finish. This is going to be a figure with uh, part of the Baron Valagor's uh, army. So uh, we're gonna bring in some purple, which is one of the uh, big Illith colors and uh, make this like a servant of uh, that faction. So uh, stay tuned. We got this uh, awesome, awesome purple. I think uh, I'm going to try a dry brush and kind of see what that does to some of our kind of lifted areas. And uh, hopefully that'll be a uh, pretty cool look for this figure for uh, the design of the character. So stay tuned. So... Yeah, I think uh, that looks pretty good. Maybe might need a touch up, but I think for the most part, uh, the white definitely uh, just looked like the staff could use just another layer to it. So I am pretty happy with that. And here is our dry brushing. I think our purple worked uh, pretty well. Pretty well. Let me see if I can hold this guy up without making... Yeah, I think uh, our purples, just a little bit of dry brushing that was simple enough so after i complete our first figure and uh wolf king customs definitely an awesome job on these plates so easy to do so easy so we're gonna let this dry we're gonna let that dry and uh when we come back we will uh, put together our new character. This is going to be fun. YouTube, last day of our character build. Definitely let me know in the comments if you are enjoying the Mythic Legions videos. Uh, definitely having fun putting these characters, figures together. So hopefully you all are enjoying it as well. I know uh, toy hunts are great and everything, but uh, I just feel creative and having fun doing these uh, pop and swaps and just uh, being able to do some different things. I'm gonna do my best to kind of go through 
what our different parts are. Uh, the majority is like our vampire um, kind of ranger, assassin, uh, Valko. It's like V-A-L-L-A-K or something like that. Uh, so we got his bottom legs, boots, portion. We got his uh, arms, his chest piece from our Baron Valbor version two. We got our purple little uh, cloth there from our uh, Vorg, the uh, little creature guy. Uh, I took uh, the little skirt from him. We have our Wolf King's custom where we uh, dry brushed and really just primed it. It, um, you know, I think it looks pretty good. You'll see it in just a minute on the body. We have our Kylo Ren. This is the Starkiller base version. So that's supposed to be like snow from Starkiller base. But uh, I'm just going to use it to give our character just a little bit of different color compared to some of the other characters we've used the Kylo Ren robe on. And I did split it down the center because this is a 1.0 figure we're putting it on. So it needed to be just a little bit wider. And then here is our Havoc staff, which uh, I painted the skull white and I think that works well with the uh, purple and then the horns there. This is Immortal Collections, their Vampire Lord. I think this is going to be an awesome, like, kind of like a vampire mage, uh, kind of dipping into some of the dark magic, maybe blood magic for the vampires. So I think he is going to be a great look. Just kind of like that older cracked skin and just one of those like elder been around, seen a lot of crazy stuff and has uh, just obtained different power over the years. I haven't decided on the character's name yet. So uh, if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, Y'all have came up with some cool stuff in the past. So we are going to pop this off. So bye-bye to this chest, please. Here is our Wolf King Customs. And that piece, look at that. Fits in good. Great look there. I think it's going to be all right with uh, the gloves and stuff. Uh, because this is going to be like a mage or kind of dipping into dark powers, I might try to find some different hands later on to kind of do uh, maybe some different magic effects. We're going to bring this piece in the lower body. We're going to put that right there and then we're going to drop that piece and let's go ahead and pop that on so you can see easy pop and swap right so you already got this piece which would be great for any of your vampire characters we got the new chest piece for wolf king customs now we're just gonna slide this on potentially. We could pop off the arms if we need to, but I think with it uh, kind of widened out, with me uh, cutting it down the center, you're gonna get enough. Yes, look at that. So I like how these pieces kind of work so you got the purple kind of inside with uh, the chest plates. You got the purple and then kind of the blacks and whites. Like I said, kind of magic mage 
type things going on. And then we're gonna take this guy. We got just a little bit, well, probably more than a little bit of our blue tech. And look at this guy. Let's see, this hood usually works real well. Uh, the only downside with the hood and the vampires, just gotta be careful with, uh, with the ears. But definitely let me know what y'all think. I think he's coming together pretty well. Like I said, just have to kind of play around with the head, with the hood, and uh, the blue tack. And then we're just going to throw the uh, Havoc staff there in the mix. And I think we got a uh, nice little addition to our brood our vampires with our mage so definitely let me know in the comments if y'all have like a cool name for this guy definitely have to uh look up some of our crazy vampires and like i said he's gonna be a little more of a advisor like a magic user but i think like all the body parts and stuff are working pretty well together and uh, should be a fun character. Here is my other mage I've made. So you can see how similar uh, the skirts are. You got just a little bit of different purple and just a little smaller head there. I believe uh, this was the Wolf King Customs head. The uh, kind of devoured vampire but yeah i think uh they are going to be a lot of fun together i just picked up a havoc staff for this figure so stay tuned i'll get that painted up but yeah this looks uh pretty cool and i am pretty happy with uh both of these figures and joining the brood in the vampire faction let me know what you think in the comments like comment and share all those things help out the channel uh are you enjoying mythic legions are you building your own characters got ideas for our vampire mage and uh his name uh i struggle with uh with all these different mythic legions names so I, uh, I have more fun <laughs> seeing and playing with the characters, but uh, I think this one came out well. Uh, stay tuned, there'll be a video later in the week. You'll see the other Havoc staff and kind of finishing up and putting it with our Vampire Mage. And then uh, two other characters that uh, I'm building from uh, Pop and Swapping with the Illith Wave. Uh, I wasn't planning on using all three characters, so it kind of meshed together on this Vampire Mage and worked out. I hope that I have the rest of the parts I need with, uh, with my other figures. I think I'll be in good shape, but... Uh, should be fun and like i said stay tuned for that video later in the week if you enjoy uh the pop and swap and the custom figures if you made it this far in the video go ahead and subscribe turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video check it out here on youtube also kent pool collects on instagram Thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you to all of our channel members. Y'all are awesome. Really, really appreciate y'all and uh, just the support and all the comments, the likes, the shares. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time, always be hunting. Have fun collecting. So another character uh, we've been actually working on for quite a bit. This is our crazy crazy daikin um yeah how awesome is 
that. Look at that head sculpt. That is crazy, right? So this is going to be one of my vampire generals. We'll have to see about the paint. I like the red. Um, if y'all recall the video, this is the Cowardless armor that uh, unfortunately we stripped from the Battle Cat because I thought it was, uh, you know, a little different but similar to our blood armor. And uh, we're going to put together this monster, this... Uh, vampire general and uh, i think this is going to be a fun piece i'm gonna have to heat up the uh, vargas legs so i can kind of separate uh, here from here i'm planning on uh, using the carolus armor i'm debating if i want the bare feet so this might be like a put it together, but he might get switched around. The other cool thing about this, uh, you know, I don't think that looks bad. We'll have to see, you know, once we kind of put it on here. So pop that off. Obviously, uh, I'm going to have to use a little bit of our tack blue tack but i think this guy is going to be a monster for sure look at that not like a perfect paint match but i think that is pretty good and again we'll see how kind of the red and stuff goes together whether i'll need to take it apart and maybe paint it again but this is also a cool very cool head sculpt all right i'm going to heat this guy up put him together and uh we'll look at version one like i said this might not be the uh final version and uh that's just how customs go sometimes Yes, so uh, this came together very nice. This is Planetary Dog Toys. Uh, they definitely have some fun, fun pieces. And this is our Daikin. Uh, I painted the Warhammer, and I just think uh, the red, the gold is pretty cool. I'm still deciding if I want to do something here with like the legs, but I think we have enough of the red and the gold and he is like crazy enough with like the expression and stuff. I might even use some vampire wings on this guy at uh, some point, just like completely nuts. Like don't want to mess with this guy. He is just the nemesis enforcer you know crazy 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 but uh for awesome head sculpts definitely <clears throat> check out planetary dog toys so this is going to be another one of our vampire generals he has uh like the blood hammer the blood armor i'm debating whether i need to paint you know, some of the gold, again, he's got enough red to him. And let me show you my other Daikin general there. So there is our original blood armor. You can see how it has more of the darker look to it. I also uh, painted that sword, gave it a little bit of a dry brush. So I'm just debating if I want to do that with the Cowardless armor and if I want to do it with uh, kind of the legs. But I think, you know, the reds and stuff, it's enough where, you know, you kind of get that uh, it's kind of the blood magic and uh, these generals have kind of made a deal to absorb even more 
power, getting them casted away from our Baron and his legion of vampires and kind of making them rogue and uh, out there with our red messenger. Stay tuned. Uh, I still have one more um, kind of custom that I'm going to do some popping and swapping with. And then our other uh, vampire mage, he looks uh, kind of empty handed. So uh, definitely stay tuned to see what we do with him. But this is uh, definitely some fun and uh, we're going to do some more customizing.